guys, it's Ethan here. I help run Gradient Blog, and uh, it's the first time I've properly spoken on the Instagram account. So, guys, I just wanted to follow up from the stories that were just on there previously um, about the like the small devotional, and just how you know in this verse where sort of God's showing us and Jesus is speaking to us about you know those who are poor in spirit and how the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. So let's start out by reading the verse. So Matthew five three, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let's look at what it means to be poor in spirit. So to recognise that you can't do things on your own, that you humble yourself before God and just sort of say, I can't do this by myself, you know, no matter the situation, you know, you should realise that within your own strength, you can't do this. And you just give that to God and you humble yourself before him and say, I need your help. Because yeah, the idea of like humility before God and the way that makes us vulnerable before him, because then if we give that situation to God, we're saying, okay, we need your help. We can't do this without you. And then that makes space for God to sort of move in our lives and then come to us and sort of give us the peace and comfort we need to help us and the strength to get through the situation that we're struggling with. So people who are like this, people who humble themselves before God, blessed will they be because handling these situations of God, trusting in him, humbling yourself before him, it means you're becoming vulnerable, allowing God to give you this peace. God giving you this peace and you know you trusting in him um, creates a form of well-being and sort of as you get to know God's grace, his peace and you get to know how much he cares for you and you get to learn about his love and that he actually wants to help you with these things. You know, if God is for us, he can be against us. You know, he wants to help us uh, with these things that we're going through, these things we're struggling with. Um, so yeah, giving these things to God and sort of being like, I can't do this. You know, that's something that, you know, it's really important to sort of focus on because we can't really human, you know. And it's just about getting in that space of humility before God and accepting that we need him all the time all the time and this creates happiness because we then learn to trust more in God and you know God's so faithful he delivers us from all these troubles and trials so yeah I've got a bit of a summary here of like some of the past stories as well this scripture talks about those who are poor in spirit meaning those who humble themselves before God and accept they cannot do life on their own so they seek God's help those who do this will be blessed allowing a relationship with God that influences more than a temporary feeling of happiness one of well-being, comfort and health, and to those the kingdom of heaven belongs. So yeah, this is also this idea of sort of like, you know, not being comforted by these things that give us a temporary feeling of happiness, you know, standing on God, the truth, the rock of our salvation, and sort of trusting in him in these times of like trouble and things where we need help from him. And you know, that opens up our heart to him and makes us vulnerable. Um, which is which is great because then we you know we trust in God for all things that we need and all things that we trying to do and um and perhaps you're coming to this realization of like i can't do this on my own and you, you know you're feeling that need to humble yourself before god because you know that you need him you know that you need his help in your life or whatever you're going through perhaps you're considering giving your life to jesus and just want you to know that he is there to help you god is there to help you he wants you to invite him into your life and he wants to spend eternity with you he wants to make his dwelling in your house and he wants to get to know you in a personal relationship and if that's something you thought about doing i'd, I'd really consider it because it's the best decision i've ever made in my life so in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 it says peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This idea of repentance, sort of like turning away from your old self, your past sins, your past practices and then turning to God and you know asking to be forgiven and if we confess our sins to God he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness and the Bible also says if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved. And we're going to pray now so repeat after me. Jesus you are Lord. I invite you into my life. I give you my life. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for our sins and salvation and rose again three days later. Jesus, right now I repent and I turn away from my sin. I pray you can forgive me for what I've done. Jesus, right now I just pray that you can fill me with your Holy Spirit. Jesus name, pray. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, amen. Welcome to the family of God. That's amazing. You've made one of the best decisions you'll ever make in your life. So that's absolutely amazing. Well done. If that was the first time you gave your life to Christ, I recommend you find yourself a church in your area uh, to sort of grow in a community and get to know God more and you know discover Jesus with a nervous heart and grow in a relationship with him. And if you don't have a Bible, there's actually a version Bible app on your phone, which you can download right now. Uh, which is which is great. It has the Bible on there, and as well as other devotionals and clips as well, which are really helpful. 
to grow in your walk with God. I'd also recommend getting an actual Bible as well. So perhaps look at getting one of them quite soon. And if you haven't been baptized yet, I consider getting baptized at your church and that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to thank you for joining me on this video. It's only a sort of a short video here, but I just want to thank you for tuning in. If you watch the whole way through, I really appreciate it. So thank you. And yeah, I, I think, you know, might do some more videos like this soon on the Instagram, um, more devotionals and things as well. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.